G'day everybody, this is going to be the video on the thermostat change, but I just thought I'd show you the engine to start with. It's a uh, Mitsubishi 6D22, uh, 11.5 litre straight 6, individual cylinder heads, individual rocker covers, uh, approximately 200 horsepower, 540 foot-pounds of torque, and uh, yeah, it's a big beast of an engine. It's, uh, it's huge, just like a boat engine, a ship engine walk around and show you the other side that's a throttle body there but it's not actually used for throttle for throttling the engine that shuts when you've got the exhaust brake on so it doesn't go blah 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 and make a big racket but yeah it's probably what six inch intake a massive air filter it's the one that I said pretty much as big as a car engine block and it is and uh, water pump, it's a pretty big water pump, looks like you can take the back cover off to check the impeller, it's a good design. Um, there's the oil pressure, oil pressure sender unit and that's connected to the engine by a flexible line. Now rather than hanging off the side of the block and then chancing that it could break off due to vibration, you know, moving up and down on the block, they've got it in a rubber mounting, rubber line to the, to the block, which is actually the oil line there goes to the uh, fuel pump as well as a few other bits and pieces and there's an oil line coming off the block there you see it down in there oil line coming off the block and uh, yeah there's your uh, th th engine stopper throttle inputs um, there's a little sensor there so it knows when you've got your foot off that's for turning on the exhaust brake um, not much else to say really big ass injection pump compressor in the back there um, that's where the thermostats live. Now, it's really not too difficult with this job at all. All I'm going to need to do is to remove the top radiator hose, undo that Bundy joint there, the uh, what you call a uh, banjo joint, and then pop the six bolts out and there's the two thermostats sitting in there. Uh, temperature senders, I don't know what that one is, it's disconnected but uh, everything on the dash works. Um, that's the main temperature sensor there. Oh, not much else to say. Like I said, individual cylinder heads. I'd say this is a pre-chamber type engine because of the size of it. Actually, it could be direct. Those injectors are pointing straight down. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Pretty sure it'd be direct for its age. Anyway, there's your coolant tank up there. That's a uh, water rail down there which feeds all the cylinder heads intake manifold, uh, power steering pump fluid reservoir, um, hmm, that's about it. Time to drop the coolant and then uh, get started on the uh, thermostats. Oh yeah, I've got to remember to flush out the heater too. Water gun, 